talk a little bit about the Ukrainian psyche. What do we know right now about what the last 11 days have done for the people of Ukraine and the general sense of either optimism, pessimism, or somewhere in between? Well, I think it gives the Ukrainians a boost to see that <laughs> they're invading Russia now after Russia invaded them. Um, but, you know, this war has been taking a huge toll on Ukraine and Russia continues to bomb their cities to destroy their energy systems. Uh, so many people are facing blackouts and don't have access to electricity or other basic services, even if they're in a, in a peace zone. So I, I think that this war is going to, you know, it's it's grinding down on their psychology too. And the Ukrainians have proved to be quite resilient. There's been a lot of academic articles talking about the strength of Ukrainian civil society, the ability of the people to come together, you know, regardless of what the government's doing. So there is a lot of resilience there. There's not a desire to give up. They know that they don't want to live under Putin's rule. So there's not really an option. So I think they're going to just keep fighting and doing what they have to do. And what's your sense of how this incursion has mobilized the broader international community? It feels like here in the U.S. there's been political disagreement over whether or not to continue our support of Ukraine. Does this shift those arguments at all? Yeah, I think one of the audiences for uh, Ukraine's invasion of Russia was the United States and the, and the broader Western alliance, and is to demonstrate to that alliance that uh, Ukraine is still in this fight and that they're still capable of, of doing quite amazing things and that they're using the weapons that we provide effectively. So I think... Um, you know, part of the political spectrum, and particularly the Republicans, have said we shouldn't be providing aid to Ukraine. Uh, you know, J.D. Vance, for example, now vice presidential nominee, has made that point quite clearly. So there's a real divide in the in the U.S. system, although I don't think all Republicans support that point of view. So I think it helps that, you know, Ukraine is a scrappy underdog that is proving that it can have some level of success against even a much more powerful opponent like Russia. And that's really going to help the narrative and the storyline in the United States and bolster support, you know, already strong among the Democrats and, and probably among some groups within the Republican Party as well. So they, they clearly have a majority of support in the U.S.